Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Eager Elo, and this is called The Great and Powerful Trixie Falls in Love with a Pinecone by Angelo from Below. Chapter 1 Trixie runs into the night, smiling to herself as the rush of adrenaline washed over her. Not only has she just started death in the face she did, uh, sorry. Death in the face she uh, and survived, she had also escaped with her reputation intact. Earlier that day, she had performed a show in a backwater town called Ponyville. Once again, it had been a master class in shooting down her hecklers. She chuckled. These gigs would, wouldn't be half as much fun if it wasn't for the arrogance of other ponies. Foolishly stepping forward to challenge her. The audience loved her, of course, laughing along with her jokes and hapless fools she humiliated. If there was one thing Trixie knew better than any pony else, it was how to work a crowd. But the events have transpired after the show had turned into a bit of a disaster. Oh, how it started off, all right. Two young colts had become enamored with her, tripping over each other with the eagerness to please her. That had been a disappointment in truth. In most other places she performed, Trixie was usually able to catch a handsome stallion. They used to hook up, and she'd be on easy street for a few weeks, staying with him until her charms finally wore off. But Ponyville was sadly lacking the eligible bachelors. Sure, there was a few attractive stallions in the audience, but they all appeared to have some pony already. Most of the town's population appeared to be mares, and that was not an option she was prepared to consider. Though, of course, if she was that way inclined, she would no doubt be staying with some pony tonight. No, all the town had to offer was just those two annoying little colts, ships, and fails. Or whatever their names were. They were both too poor and too young to provide the comforts she was usually normally used to. Trixie, Trixie slowed her pace as she realized that this was not the path she used to come into town. It had come to a crossroads. One's route led to a farm, and the other headed into the forest. Well, it was obviously, it was obvious which way she would go. If she took a, the the left fort, she would probably come across that orange farm pony again, and there was no way she would go ask for help. <clears throat> she went into the forest. Hmm, sorry about that. She went into the forest, hoping there was would be a town or some place to stay when she came out to the other side. What sort of idiot would set out into a deliberately annoying Anursa mayor? Thank goodness that the purple unicorn had been there to save every pony for the first time. Trixie, Trixie pondered whether she could change her backstory just to make sure nothing like this ever happened again. Never mind, her dramatic exit had covered much of her failure nicely, and those two colts would no doubt get the punishment they deserved. No, her dignity glee was intact. The only things that she uh, had lost was her cloak, which had nothing been fond of. Though the only value it led, it held her to her was the cost of sapphire clasp. The wagon she held was traveling in. Both of those could easily be replaced with the money that she had earned for her performance in Ponyville. Trixie came to a sudden halt. Her money, it was in her purse, which she had hidden a cloak and had abandoned. Oh, buck! She shouted so loudly that the group of nearby but <laughs> What's wrong with my words today? Nearly nearby birds took flight, scared out of the perch in the trees. The blue-coated unicorn started pacing rapidly back and forth across the width of a path, frantically mewling over her options. She left all of her money behind. Without it, there was no way she'd be able to hire a room for the night. And that was if this path even led anywhere. Looking ahead, it appeared to get increasingly overgrown. But it, if she went back now, there was a chance that the town folk would see her crawling back to pick up her bits. She would be humiliated. As much as she hated to admit, there was no choice. She would have swallowed her pride and go back. All that showmanship for nothing. Before she could turn tail, a voice called out from the trees. Hello? Is anybody there? Can somebody help me? I'm trapped. Show off though she was, Trixie was not to abandon any pony in trouble. She raved a hoof, ready to charge in for her help. Her own troubles instantly forgotten. Trixie's here. 
Where are you? Keep calling out so I can find you. She pushed her way into the past trees, following a female voice that was clearly in some distress. All the path, the mud was slick from the recent rainy spells as she had some difficulty keeping in her balance. She soon made her voice way to the source of the voice, but was surprised to see that there was nobody there. She called out, scanning the areas for any sign of life. Careful! You almost stepped on me! The voice came from uh, right underneath her, scaring the living daylights out of her. She peered through the gloom, but there was no one there. In fact, there was nothing at all for her except a very muddy pine cone. Incredibly confused, she carefully knelt down and brought her face close to the wooden object. Her confusion turned to shock when the thing suddenly spoke to her. Thank goodness you came. I thought I was going to be stuck here forever. She leaped back in surprise, and then fell over as she lost her footing in the mud. A unicorn as well. That's great. You can use your magic to lift me safely. The pinecone continued. A sticky and irritated Trixie stood back up took stock of the situation, and then raised her head and yelled, Is this some sort of joke? Well, well done. Hilarious. Now I'm broke, covered in mud, and even more of a laughing stock than I was before. I hope you're happy. A joke, said the pinecone. This is no joke. I'm stuck. You can see that I'm stuck. Please help me. Trixie growled in anger when the hurled around trying to find a hidden ventriloquist. And you still persist? Do you think it's funny to pretend you're in trouble? Have you ever heard of the tail pony who cried Timberwolf? Come out and face Trixie. I will destroy you. She began to push her way back to the trees, and the pineco called out again. Please don't leave me. Trixie looked back and was astonished to see that the pineco was moving of its own accord, wiggling back and forth. Curious and a little wary, she walked over and walked uh, her hoof above it. No wires, in fact. She couldn't even see anything that could be controlling it. There, is, there wasn't even a telltale or of magic around it. And there would have been a unicorn was manipulating it via a spell. Very well, she said in a calm once more. Trixie will play wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Trixie will play along. But only so you can tell her how you pulled off this trick. Using her magic, she pulled the pine cone free from the mud, then made her way back to the path, before placing it back on the ground. She rolled back a little. Oh, it's already like eight minutes. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm going to stop here. And this is part one from the great and powerful trick she falls in love with the pine cone. Thank you for listening. This is Eager Elo.